Accounting standards world over, they say to calculate cost of goods sold, we need to assume fee for and leave for methods. But wait a minute, I'm not getting my head around this. Ain't that simple? Like I can just take number of units sold and multiply that with cost per unit. Both this information is there with the companies. Why can't I just do that? Why do I need to make an assumption? Here's an explanation to that. Let's say for example, you're a trader of a food grain. You purchase 10 kgs at $10 per kg then 20 kgs at $20 per kg, then 70 kgs at $70 per kg. In total, you have 100 kgs to sell. Let's say you sold 80 kgs out of 100 kgs. Now, let's use the intuitive way to calculate. Cost of goods sold of 80 kgs is equal to 80 kgs into what? Should it be 80 kgs into 10 per kg or into 20 per kg or into 70 per kg? You see, practically, it is very difficult for me to identify which food grain belongs to which lot. Is it for the $10 lot, the $20 or the $70? It becomes very difficult for me to track it because I store all my food grains together. Accounting standards from the point of view of convenience have recommended these assumptions. Like for example, if you are dealing in product which has got lower shelf life like food, then please assume FIFO first in, first out because the shelf life is lower. But if you're, if you're dealing with some another type of a product, you can use LIFO. By the way, across the entire world, it's only USA which allows LIFO. Everybody else in the world does not allow LIFO. That's just a sad information. But I hope now you know why these assumptions exist because of two reasons. One, the cost per unit of the good keeps on changing because of inflation, etc., 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 And also because you cannot specifically identify each and every unit. And that's why you end up making assumptions like FIFO, LIFO, weighted average cost method, so on and so forth.